Hello, Tim Georgieff here. Today we are going to talk about the electronic press kit. Now, how many times have you had somebody ask you uh, for a demo of your music? They ask, hey, can I see some video or hear some audio examples? Or do you have a website? Or, you know, they ask you some questions and then uh, in reply, you have to send them to a bunch of different places. Well, I have some pictures on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel has some videos and you know, you start sending people around to a bunch of different places, they lose interest really fast. So the EPK, or Electronic Press Kit, is designed to bring all those things together into one uh, location that you can sh then share with the uh, entertainment buyer, the venue manager, or the booking agent. And my EPK is actually attached right to my website. So we're currently on the homepage of my website. It's cycling through pictures, and you can see down here, Press Kit. I'll click on it and we get taken to my press kit. I also have direct links for this saved in both my uh, email and my phone. So I can just text it directly to somebody, email it directly to somebody when they ask for uh, some examples of my work. You can see here I open with a quote that I like after silence, that which comes nearest to expressing the inexpressible is music. And right below that I have a real brief paragraph of uh, things that I'm doing and what I'm looking for. It's not an exhaustive biography by any means. It's just a quick introduction to who I am and what I'm doing. And below that, I have a few photographs. Again, a lot of times people want to see some pictures of you in action, or they want to put a face with the voice or the instrument that they hear. And so you want to make sure you have some good professional photographs that have been taken uh, to put up in this spot. Then below that, for me as a solo piano performer, I think it's important people see the diversity and the variety of music that I'm able to do. So I have a examples, uh, sort of a set list examples page here. Sing along example set list. This is for dueling pianos or solo piano with high energy uh, room, you know, Piano Man, Living on a Prayer, Baby Got Back, Old Time Rock and Roll, Jesse's Girl, all those sing along songs that get people uh, having a good time in the bar. So that's what that list is there. The second list, my restaurant or lounge, Set list. This is for a, a venue that's a little more laid back. They don't necessarily want the high energy of the sing-along venue. So New York State of Mind, Georgia, Walking in Memphis, Rocket Man, Valerie, The Way It Is, Moon Dance. You know, this more of like a listening room type list. And then finally, my wedding day set list. I do have people inquire about weddings a lot, and I want to show them I can take them from a ceremony of classical music to a dinner of uh, jazz and you know, sort of adult contemporary music. And then down to uh, turning it up with dancing uh, set, you know, September, Can't Stop the Feeling and Sugar, things like that. So I have this uh, example set list page. And right next to it, I have a list of venues that I've performed in. Again, it's not exhaustive. Just some samples and examples over the past few years of places I've played help legitimize myself in the eyes of the buyer. They, they have a venue that they're representing they are going to look on this list to see if there are things that are similar to their venue. So I make sure I have a well-rounded uh, list here. Everything from a Four Seasons Hotel to a festival, uh, the Texas State Fair, uh, Disney World's Contemporary Resort, uh, Perry Steakhouse down in Dallas, Norwegian Royal and Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, uh, the Rosewood Mansion, uh, some casinos here, the Choctaw Casino and Resort, the Golden Nugget and Windstar World Casino and Resort. Also some ultra lounges like Blue Martini and Sambuca, country venues, Billy Bob's and the White Elephant Saloon down in Fort Worth. Uh, so there's a bunch of different venues that they can look at, see where I've performed, see if it matches what they are representing. Below that, I have some more pictures. Uh, these are a little more fun than the ones that were up top. Uh, solo piano, selfie there, some pictures from Norwegian Cruise Lines. Uh, having some fun there with uh, Derek Anthony and the D-Train Band. Down here, Tim Bowie, one of my uh, dueling partners and a very good friend of mine at Spirits on Bourbon. We were dueling at the uh, Dueling Piano Bar there right on Bourbon Street, New Orleans. And a crazy fan who came up and was dancing and singing and having a great time. So again, some more pictures just so they can see a little, little bigger wind, window into my world of music. And then below that, I have a uh, audio sample here, Baby Grand, Billy Joel and Ray Charles. Skip ahead to some vocals here. Is 
So all they need to do is click the play button to get some audio samples. And then below that, I have my piano vocal demo reel. And it is actually residing on YouTube. But my press kit allows me to actually have that right here uh, on my page. Look at here, look at here, tell me why do it. And you can see I have different Girl, I'm examples. Some different Time camera angles. Sick of love. Seems like we argue every day. You know how I must behave. We have to have the harmonica, of course. So you see my demo reel has quite a few different examples of my playing. And they can, of course, always click through to my YouTube channel and then see all the individual songs if they wanted to do that. And then below that here on the bottom, I have a connection form. They can leave their name, email, and a message. And uh, I'm always surprised at the number of messages I get, inquiries from people. And I think this is the best way to do it. If you just put a name and a phone number or something like that, a lot of times people don't make that call. You want to give them the opportunity to leave that message for you in the middle of the night while they're browsing on the internet, and then you can respond to them the next morning. And hey, don't procrastinate. We as musicians need to take the initiative to get back with those booking agents, to get back with the venue owner. Don't wait for them to call you. Don't wait for them to email you again. Get that gig. Go out and, go out and grab it. So anyway, that's what my uh, EPK looks like. Pretty simple, you're welcome to use it as a template for yours. Maybe you have some different information or more things that you wanna put on yours differently. I'd, I'd love to see examples of what you're doing out there with it, but at the end of the day, you wanna have a consolidated page with all sorts of information on it that you can share and send out easily, allows people to see what it is you're doing, get you booked and get you another gig. So can't wait to uh, see your press kits and look forward to seeing you out there on the road.